Okay, I don't think it's going to come out dodgy because technology is playing up. So let's have a look at this. And sometimes it really, really helps um, to read a question. And I mean, what I mean by that is beyond in this example 6D. It says the reaction of chlorine with propane is similar to the reaction of chlorine with methane. Name the type of, type of mechanism in the reaction of chlorine with methane. Oh, that's kind of, it could be a whole load. You probably sat there thinking, well, it could be electrophilic addition, uh, it could be substitution reaction, and, and uh, you're thinking a whole lot of things. What you can do is keep reading it. And the thing that gives a big clue where it's down here, it says initiation step. So this must be free radical substitution. And it is. There are a couple of big hints there. Um, one of the things to look out for it is there is no double bond. Okay. And so we've got alkane uh, reaction with chlorine. Uh, one of the things you need is light. UV. So, let's have a look at the initiation step. This is exactly the same as it is in textbook. It's the easy version. We're not looking at ozone. And all we're going to do is have some UV light here, and that, that the, the, this bit here, UV is unnecessary. Cl2 will go off to form two chlorine radicals. Okay. And then it asks for our first propagation step. Well, before we do that, the way to define the initiation step is you have no radicals on the left-hand side, and two radicals on the right-hand side. A propagation step will have one radical on the left-hand side, and one radical on the right hand side so the number of radicals won't change okay dokily so let's have a look what are we looking at uh propane so we're going to take one of the chlorine radicals because that's the only thing we've got i'm going to add propane to it now propane is three carbon atoms so let's go for let's see you could write out however you want but i'm going to take the short version simply because you know there's not much um, there's not much space with my big fat hands. C3H8. We know it's C3H8 because the general formula for an alkane is CnH2n plus 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, add 2 is 8, C3H8. And what we're going to do is we're going to form a radical. I'm, I'm going to actually write this out slightly longer just so you can see it. CH2, CH2, CH3. It's our radical end. So one hydrogen has been nib nobbled by the chlorine radical. We're going to form, surprisingly, HCl. And if we just double check again, we've got one radical on the left hand side and one radical on the right hand side. And that's it, that's the initiation step. So the propagation step, the first propagation step. But then we go to the second propagation step. Well, you see, now we've got a problem, haven't we? The problem we've got is we've used the chlorine radicals, and yes, there's more chlorine radicals, but we can't use them. What we're going to use is this new radical we formed here. So writing it out, in the wrong version again, CH2, CH2, CH3. You ask yourself, well, what else can I add to it? Well, I could add another chlorine radical to this, but then that's the termination step. I must have one radical here and end up with another radical here, because it's a propagation step. Which radical am I going to add? Well, I'm not going to add a radical. Which species am I going to add? It's going to have to be chlorine. So if I add another um, propane molecule, well, I'm just going backwards and forwards. So we're looking for chlorine. And here we will form where that, where that, where we have CH2. We're actually going to have a, you know, chlorine atom there. CH2 again, CH3, chloropropane, plus. A chlorine radical formed for a propane. So it says, last part, a termination step. A termination step to form a molecule with empirical formula C3H7. Because that's an empirical formula. So you see, it doesn't mean it's got to be C3H7. It's got to be a multiple of this. And well, what am I going to start with? There's no chlorines in there, so it, it can't be chlorine. 
is a termination step, so I must start with two radicals and end up with another radic uh, zero radicals on this side. But I can't have chlorine because the species doesn't have chlorine in it over here. What am I going to do? Yeah, well, I know what I'm going to do. I've got no choice. The only radical I can use is a propane radical. I can't have one of them because as I said it's a termination step. You need two. You need two radicals. Hey, there's going to be two radicals. So what am I going to end up with? Well, these two molecules are going to join together. So, let's write this short form. C6 H 14. So I should double check the 6. My mind just went blank. So we've got we look at the carbons. One, two, three. Uh, let's go one, two, three carbons. And we've got two lots of six carbons in total. 14, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hydrogens, double it, 14. That's it, done. This isn't a radical. And it is twice, it's a multiple of C3H7. So that's a little bit naughty.